Almighty God, who can fathom the greatness of thy power, what are our works gauged by thine, O Lord, who has meted out the heaven with a span, comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? What are our years compared with thine, O Lord, who abidest though all else perish? and who art ever the same, though all things change. Thou didst lay the foundations of the earth. Thou didst command the sea, thus far shalt thou come, but no further, and here shall thy proud waves be stayed. When the morning stars sang together, and the heavenly host shouted for joy, then thy creative word bade the light to break through the darkness, and life to issue forth from the heavens above and the earth beneath. And as thou hast fashioned all things from the beginning, so wilt thou sustain and rule them even unto the end. Thou art the king of eternity, the immovable rock amidst the ebb and flow of the ages. Thy throne is established forever. Let this truth shine forth triumphantly that all men and all women may acknowledge thee as their king and render homage to thy holy name. For thine is the kingdom and thy dominion endureth forever. The Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our king. He will save us. He hath made a memorial for his wonderful works. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. The Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. As a parent hath compassion upon children, so hath the Lord compassion on them that revere him. Thou, O Lord, knowest all the works of the past. Before thee all secrets are revealed, naught is hidden from thine eyes. There is no forgetfulness before the throne of thy glory. Thou knowest the events of all times, the generations that were and those that shall be. All our deeds are remembered before thee. Whether in chastisement or in mercy, thou directest the destinies of men and women and nations according to thy wisdom and justice. Happy the human being who forgets thee not, who finds his and her strength in thee, for they who seek thee will not stumble, and they who trust in thee will not be put to shame. Remember us in mercy, O Lord, as we enter upon the new year. Judge us in thy loving kindness and direct our destinies in mercy. As thou dost remember us in goodness, so may we be mindful of our need for thee and of our obligation to serve thee. Kindle within us the faith that thou art ever near us, so that our souls may be aflame with zeal for thy law. Let us never forget, O God, that we are bound to thee by an ancient covenant and that only through fidelity to this pledge can we be worthy to stand in thy presence. Grant us the courage, the wisdom, and the patience to bring the message of thy power and thy love to all thy children, that every soul may praise thee, O thou who rememberest the covenant. Shout unto the Lord all the earth, 
Break forth and sing for joy, yea, sing praises. Exalted is God amidst joyous shouting, the Lord amidst the sound of the shofar. <coughs> Blow the shofar at the new moon, at the full moon for our feast day. Praise him according to his abundant greatness. Praise him with the blast of the shofar. O Lord our God, we are reminded now of that great moment when Israel stood at Sinai and heard the call of the shofar. Then didst thou covenant with our mothers and fathers that they should become a kingdom of priests and a holy people. Then didst thou send Israel forth to proclaim those laws by which humanity shall live and not die. The echo of that ever memorable event resounds in the hearts of the men and women of Israel to this very day. We know that this covenant was made not only with our mothers and fathers at Sinai, but also with us who stand before this, the, this day and with all who are not yet here this day, even with all the generations that are yet to be truly. We live by the power and spirit of that ancient covenant, the remembrance of which comes to us each year when we hear anew the solemn tones of the shofar. May they rouse us from indolence, from indifference, from selfish ease, and summon us to serve under thy banner of truth and love, of justice and peace, fortify our hearts, that we may labor willingly and, if need be, suffer cheerfully for the triumph of thy word. <clears throat> Sustain us with hope that we may confidently await the day when knowledge of thee shall reach the uttermost parts of the world, O oh, hasten the blessed time <clears throat> when all dwellers on earth shall hearken unto the sound of the shofar and shall worship as one humanhood at thy holy mountain. Tekiah.